Sandra, aka Kitty. I'm here today with another edition. Today is going to be a dual Kitty Speaks Spoonie Files edition. And I think I just used up all of my energy on that intro. Um, as you may or may not know, I finally underwent a surgery that I needed to have on my hips this past Thursday, the 24th. Today is Tuesday, the 29th. Um, and actually, I can't tolerate sitting for very long, so I'm going to try to make this really quick. I have stored up a whole bunch of videos for you guys, but I realize that it's been a long time since I've said hello to my Spoonie family. And so I just wanted to say, hey everybody, thank you so much for all of the wonderful well wishes and prayers that you sent me via social media uh, and on Facebook. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all of the love. Um, but it's been a long time since I said, hey, specifically to my spoonie pals and so hey specifically to my spoonie pals um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the surgery that I just underwent and there's going to be a little bit of beauty products in this video so if you will please just bear with me if you're here for beauty while I talk to uh, you guys about what just happened to me so this is a little bit of a chit chat um, I don't even know what to, to call this um, I just felt really weird not being in front of camera for so long even though I have stored up a bunch of videos for you guys that were pre-recorded I just felt a little bit weird not coming to you and so I thought that it would be good to um, say a little bit of something while I feel well enough to um, to get up and actually <laughs> actually this is going to be a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be um, anyway um, I have what's called torsobursitis. It is one of the conditions that I have of my 20 different autoimmune diseases now. The number keeps creeping up and up and up. Um, it's where the bursa in between your hip joints are swollen and inflamed and so it causes a lot of pain. For me, it causes pain sitting and it's really, really difficult to sleep. Normally, I haven't been able to sleep on my stomach in about six years. I had a bunch of uh, abdominal surgeries. I had appendicitis and um, an appendectomy. And I had like three different abdominal surgeries on the exact same day. And I haven't been able to tolerate anything on my stomach, including my hands. Like I can't even have my hands on my stomach. And I can't sleep on my stomach especially so I go from one side to my back to the other side and I do that until I'm able to fall asleep and hope that pain doesn't awaken me. Well with my bursas being like they have been recently I only had one side to be able to sleep on and so um, OC was afraid of me getting bed sores because I spend a lot of my time in bed. I know it's hard for you guys to believe since you see me on camera and you think that I look fine, but I do spend quite a bit of my day in bed. And so being able to turn was really, really important. So what they did was some injections directly into the bursa. But for me, my body interprets every sensation as pain. And so to have injections through my bones um, is rather traumatic. And so before I get any relief, there's going to be a lot of trauma that I have to go through while I recuperate. So, um, that is what happened in a nutshell. I don't necessarily know the name of the, uh, let's see, is it on here? Let's see if it says the name of what I have. Post-pain procedure, so... And then they put somebody else's. I have somebody's personal information right here that is not me. Attached to my, oh, wow. Um. In any event, it doesn't say the name of the procedure that I had, but um. Yeah, I just wanted to explain what happened to me and um, kind of what I'm going through now while I recuperate. Um, I also just want to show you the few little things that I picked up. So now for those of you who have been waiting for this part, it's the part that you've been waiting for. Um, it's only a little bit, but I did want to sh share it with you guys so that I can go ahead and use it. I haven't used any of these items 
actually haven't done my face so it really doesn't matter but I picked up the NYX eyebrow gel in chocolate and it's a little bit light for me so I finally got my hands I went to Ulta uh, a couple days before surgery and I picked up the NYX eyebrow gel in espresso and I did use this one day on like one of my brows um, and I am really floored by this. The staying power is amazing and um, I really like the color match better than this. I think that I'll use this for the front of my brow and this for the tail end. So I'm really happy that I finally was able to get this. Um, I had, you guys know I've been loving the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation recently. The powder that I have, my foundation color I think is Soft Sable. Yeah, it's Soft Sable 111. But the powder that I had was Classic Tan and it was too dark. So I picked up Sun Beige and I don't know if this is going to be better but um, yeah. This looks a little, it looks lighter but the other one was too dark so we'll see about that. Also I had the Maybelline Dream um, something something. BB, BB cream but it was in dark which was too dark for me so I got uh, it was in deep and so I got I was finally able to again at Ulta get the medium deep and this one has 2% um, salicylic acid so I think that this one will be better for me I have not used it yet so I don't know um, but I'm assuming that this is going to be the right color and the last thing is I got a few um, wet and wild palettes that are limited edition. I don't know when these came out, but they are color icon. And I'm a little bit, I didn't realize when I picked these up, I only got them because they were limited edition. And what I was looking for were the new Wet n Wild lipsticks. But I got all three of them because they were all three different and I didn't want to not be able to get them. So I got them while I saw them. But I realized that out of all three of these, some of the colors, some of the same colors overlap. And so, yeah, I'm a little bit bummed about that. But I got High Flying Colors, um, which has the same silver and, yeah, no, only the same silver as in Boardwalk Boozing. And Boardwalk Boozing has the same yellow and the same orange as in temporary solutions so yeah these are the three wet and wild palette limited edition color icon wet and wild palettes that I got so um, they are not open yet either so I'm like really really dying to have a day when I can actually sit here in the chair for a while but as of yet that has not happened um, it took me three days to wash, blow dry, and flat iron my hair because I was able to wash it one day and then I let it air dry and then I had to like spritz it with water so that I could go ahead and blow dry it and flat iron it. So I've been sitting in this chair now for about 45 minutes and that is like the absolute limit of my tolerance. So that is all that I have for you guys for today. I just wanted to say hey, what's up, let you know that I am alright, um, what happened to me and... Um, to say hey to my Spoonie Pals. So thank you so much again for all the love and support. Thank you so much for all the new subscribers. Um, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for, um, for picking me and watching me. And hopefully I'll be back soon with some exciting new content. And um, yeah, love, peace, and hair grease. Ciao.